Hello all. So today I am going to share with you my journey, how I became top 5% researcher in the world. I am Dr. Shodesh Singh, ex-IES officer and I am professor at GRIET Hyderabad, one of the premier private institutions in Hyderabad, India. I am also holding adjunct professor position at Victoria University, Melbourne. It's a very big campus. There I am working with the recycling of tires, converting tire into activated carbon and then making the filter, the whole project and I am associated with that particular organization in this way. So first of all, uh, I would like to discuss how you can see that I am a top 5% researcher in the world. So, uh, this list is published by Elsevier. You know, this Elsevier digital, you know, this there is a website. And this data for year 2020 was published. Data for year 2020 was published in August 2021. So, data for 2021 will be published in almost August, September 2022. So, this is the most recent data. So, this is the file. Actually, if you see, this is the file website. And here there are downloads. Table 1, author's career. It's a whole career. Okay, no? this about the career. Now, if you see author single year 2020, if you see that, if you download that file, there contains my name, that overall researcher, top 5% researcher in the world. So, I have downloaded the file and here is my name. Shadesh Kumar Singh, oh, he somehow missed. Yeah, Shadesh Kumar Singh, this one. Okay. Presently, my affiliation is Gogaraju Rangaraju and recently the adjunct position is given to me by Victoria. So, uh, if you see my profile at Scoopers, it is like this. Uh, Scoop, the, this access you will have from institutions like IITs, NIT, BITS, okay now. So here if you go to my profile, Shadesh Kumar Singh. So, Shadesh Kumar Singh, I have 167 documents over Scoopers and I am cited 2205 times by researchers all over the world. You can see this figure. And then my H index is 24. H index 24 is quite high. Citations are also quite high. Among this 167, I have close to 82 SCI articles. Articles published in, in, in SCI General Science Citation Index. So that is my profile and uh, so today I am going to discuss with you how I became top 5% researcher in the world. So you know generally I teach production and material science for competitive examinations like GATE and IES and I also I do research. My research areas are metal forming, biocomposites, uh, I mean replacing the wood waste ply with you know agro waste, agro waste that is my area. Then finite element com computations and uh, recycling. Primarily, my association with the Victoria is in the area of recycling. Okay, now. so I will tell you my journey. I belongs to UP. Uh, I'm in a very rural area. I born and brought up in in a very uh, rural village in UP. So you know there was no development. To be frank with you and. Of course, I am grateful to my schooling and all those teachers, but even my English was very lousy up to 12th. I passed 10th and 12th from UP board and my English was very lousy. You can imagine in the 9th class, would and should. We used to say would and should. So, you know, <laughs> and of course, there were some family issues. Because of the family issues, there were a lot of mental pressure on me. So I could not perform well. Of course, by God's grace, I was good in mathematics. 
but because of family pressures and because uh, there will be another video i will t share with you my experience in my life but this i want to focus on research so up to 10th class and 12th class because of my family circumstances you know i could not study well and my english was very very poor but somehow uh, engineering i came to aligarh muslim university one of the premier institutions in north india and once again i was you know from in hindi we call it gamar a tikan technique they call me call me at that you know gamar like that gamar so i came to amu and there i got exposure so in the development of career of any individual institution and the teachers you know helps you a lot without good teachers and without good institutions good institution career will not develop so amu new friendship so all the you know past impressions were getting washed away and the amu some of my teachers i know they used to love me because i was very very uh, sincere and uh, i used to respect my teachers a lot so they used to love me professor hamidullah professor shir afghan i have number of teachers so then i studied and i improved my english i will tell you separately how i improved my english and then what happened because uh, by god's grace i worked very hard and i was throughout tougher and uh, i have given university gold medal because i was ranked number 1 in mechanical engineering so because i suffered a lot in my life so that is the reason there is one lesson i want to tell all of you that many of you may be experiencing this thing that your score is not good or you know village situation is like that you cannot study any time you can shine like me so then because of these things i wanted to become at that time ias officer so after my engineering i came to iit delhi gate exam you know we never prepared for gate exam at that time and gate paper used to be tough now gate paper is very easy <laughs> so of course we cracked it because i was tougher of course by god's grace and by teachers blessings everything happens by teachers blessing and you know so we should respect teachers okay so i came to iit there my schedule was you know day time i used to be at institute and night time i used to prepare for civil services and uh, during that time i never prepared for engineering services but i craft engineering services without preparation because i was preparing for civil services by keeping mechanical and mathematics as subject and you know in 98 i uh, civil services 98 what happened bjp government came to power and they have you know cut short all the vacancies final result there was only 267 and the mains result was hardly 500 odd <laughs> so during that time we cracked mains and appeared for interview but my english was not that good so i scored little less marks i was just cut off 1197 was my score at that time and 1204 was cut off then of course you know only once i appeared in civil service i i joined engineering services and for one and half year i worked for engineering services during this time why i have not appeared in civil services again because i have follow i started following some spiritual path and i i wanted to dedicate my life at, for that so now after working for one and a half year i left engineering services and joined phd at iit delhi again now 2001 onwards my research career starts because now i will tell you how i became a top 5 person researcher so at that time my area is metal forming my area is metal forming if it is not getting deleted okay metal forming and at that time at iit delhi i developed a setup of hydroforming we call it hydromechanical deep drawing where there's a pressurized oil and i developed myself that setup it was a hard struggle to develop that experimental setup and after mine phd uh, my juniors they worked on it and in india to be frank with you i was the first one to start the studies on hydroforming at iit delhi then of course iit bombay and my another group professor narsimhan he developed the setup in tube hydroforming 
and IIT Kanpur also, you know, they started working on that. Then after my PhD, I was associated with one of the premier institute for that provide coaching for GATE and IES. He's my friend, very close friend. And I was also simultaneously guiding my students and our students were topper every year. So that was one of the reason I have not joined after my PhD any government organization because the income from other source will become illegal. I have never done any illegal thing in my life. Then I joined in a private institution at Hyderabad and here I have developed the setup for hot farming. I have developed the setup for hot farming. That was also the first in India, in private institution. And after that, some of my friends at uh, IIT Khadakpur, he developed my guru at uh, both at IIT Delhi and IIT Bombay, they also, you know, developed. So now presently hot farming and warm farming, it's quite popular in India. So now uh, hot farming, hydro farming, that also I work. Then I have started uh, writing papers since 2002. Of course, my guide was helping, but I was very, very, you know, studious about it. How to write the paper? I have gone through a lot of papers. Hydroforming, dam warm forming. Then for PhD and for research, we need to validate the experimentation with some finite element or mathematics. So I learned LS Dana myself and some of my students, they, they learned how to develop the user user defined material model to incorporate in the simulation so now there is a whole area of research expanded after that to be frank with you till 2012 i myself was doing everything i was doing experiment i was analyzing the data i was adding the paper discussion going to the scanning electron microscope everything i was doing but later on some of my student became professors at bits and other other places now I have formed a team because beyond a certain age alone it is not possible to do anything so something uh, some of my students those who are professor they are doing their students are doing i'm contributing something so now the whole area expanded and now practically every year five to six sci paper appears in general good journals like materials and design and international journal of material forming so uh, sci journals and on, on an average, tw uh, 12 to 13 papers appears every year. Among that, 5 to 6 are SCI. So area expanded. Some of the students are working, then I have to give my inputs that, uh, you know, you do in this way. A student need guidance. Without guidance, a student will not be able to do anything. So now, suddenly if a bio, bio composite came, one of my students, she was working on, you know, plywood. So that area also expanded. So now, Whenever students are working and you are little little bit studying, paper comes automatically. So and now 2020, there were 14 SCI papers because I, I used to have many many students. I I was also working very hard. So that is the reason because this Scopus and Elsevier they keep on watching the data, and they released in two, August 2021 2020 data, and I was I was one of the top five percent. They evaluate primarily based on number of publications, SCI and non-SCI, and also the citations. How many citations you have got? So now exactly, of course, <laughs> uh, those who are seeing the video, in India, there is a racket. If you want to uh, you do PhD, serious PhD, IITs, BITs, NITs, and some good institution the rest of the institution practically a student doesn't know how to write paper and uh, he or she will get phd and if you ask the name of the your thesis a student will not be able to tell so it's a basically you know our education system gone to that level but if you want to become a good researcher work hard focus on writing the papers if you need any help, you write in the comment box, how can I help you? I will be, I will be glad to help, help you. Or uh, contact to my institution mail ID, GRIT. And Victoria is not yet created, they will create soon. So if there is a hard work, because it's another field, if you are a researcher, there are many, many avenues comes out in front of you. 
because in some other lecture we can tell you what are the other avenues you will get it but if you work hard anything you can accomplish in your life subjected to you respect teachers and elders and your efforts are in the right direction so friends let me know that on what top topic you would like to me to make another video thank you and all the best